everyone, and welcome back to episode 3 of Overanalyzing Assassin's Creed, where we are currently, if I'm not mistaken, in the city of Accra. Apparently, we're going to assassinate Gani de Napus. And she's still the famous uh, cosmetics maker. They have been exposed Perhaps. to the guards. Break their line of sight and try to hide from them. But yeah, um, if you should get another yet, all you knew was to report to the Assassin's Bureau in Accra. Of course, in Animus uh, Desmond, we have to. Oh, we have reported to the Assassin's Bureau of Accra. Okay, that's good. Um, well, I suppose we might as well come to Hadden. I'll cover here some books. Ah, Altai! A little bird told me you'd be paying a visit. Al Muallam has ordered the execution of Ganyet and approves it, so here I am. What can you tell me about him? He is the Grand Master of the Knights Hospital, and surely keeps his quarters in their district. Beyond that, I cannot say. I suggest you search the city, see what you can learn from the people. Tell me where they gather and I'll see what I can find. The public gardens north of here, or what's left of them, are as good a place as any to begin. There's an abandoned market northwest as well that merits watching. And Maria of Jehoshaphat's church to the west remains a popular meeting place. These three locations should be sufficient for your needs. I appreciate the information, Rafik. It will be put to good use. See that it is. So it's only coming from my headphones now. Good. Um, so, the Grandmaster of the Knights Hospitalier. Uh, I do not know much about. So, we'll have to talk about more about them later. Uh, some weird stuff going on on my screen here. Okay, okay, please. Okay, can we talk about you not being full screen? Okay. okay maybe if we close the sound thing. Excellent. Okay, good. Right, so we are in Accra, the Crusader port. The Crusader ports, important lifeline, because this is where the boats from Europe could uh, arrive and bring supplies and stuff. Also, the last city to be recaptured by the Muslims, if I'm not mistaken, in 1291, I would say. So, first of all, let's uh, case the joints and collect all the viewpoints. While we're doing that, let's talk a bit about the assassins and who they were in real life rather than in this game. I'm being watched by him. You go over there and they get. Right, sorry, talking about assassins later. First. Done. Nope, this is how you die. Come on. Come on, you know you wanna? Well done. Yeah, 
Hell or to, to, to stop them to harass innocent civilians. I'd say there's no need, but actually, uh, maybe you should say you must because you find a way to repay the kindness. Since Alti here, certainly at the moment, does not seem altruistic to to me. Anyway, let's make way to the viewpoint. Yes, I'm on the roof, I'm not supposed to be here, I know, shush. Anyway, as I was saying before I was a citizen in need of saving, uh, the uh, assassins and the real life version, not the game version. Actually, according to Wikipedia, and I must admit I'm not that much of a historian, so I look most of this up on Wikipedia. Um, according to Wikipedia, we don't really know all that much about the assassins, and the uh, problematic thing is that Problematic is maybe a bit of a bad word, but uh, in terms of getting uh, reliable information, is that most of what we know about the possessions was written down by people who did not like them very much, or who lived quite a while after the sessions did and just wrote down legends. Uh, Marco Polo wrote about them, for example, but uh, by the time Marco Polo wrote about them, the Mongols had already disbanded the sessions, or disbanded. Uh, conquered all their lands and uh, caused them to flee and disperse. And uh, yeah, so came okay, what I wrote about them, but they were all gone at the time. And contemporary writings are mainly from people that did not like them. And that's where the name Sasson comes from. Uh, here's the legend it comes from Hashish because they used that to gain the loyalty of their soldiers, uh, but it's quite possible that it just was a pejorative, like, you know, junks or thugs, uh, the way that you sometimes today. So, yeah, that was uh, why they were called assassins by the people who didn't like them, you know, these uh, those bunch of drug aids. So, who were they? Uh, they were a certain sect of Shia Muslim. So you have the Sunni, which is the main branch, and you have the Shia, which split off. Uh, mainly over a dispute over who can be considered the legitimate heir to the Prophet Muhammad. Uh, I'm not sure, there are probably also some theological differences, but I'm not too sure about that. Um, so that's the Sunni-Shia split, and then Later, you got a split within the Shia sect, uh, again over a succession dispute. It's kind of a theme going on there. Um, and uh, you have a sect called the Nazri Ismailis, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Uh, and they were the assassins, at least. Uh, you know, they, the assassins were of that sect. And basically, because they were not that large in number, they didn't have a lot of military power. So instead, they had to rely on uh, other ways of convincing people to do what they wanted, i.e. leave them alone. And they did that by intimidation tactics, so uh, public assassination uh, was a big tactic. But also not necessarily assassinating people, just scaring them. There's a story, for example, that uh, Salah Hadin, uh, of course, plays a big role in this game, at least in the background of the story, uh, that he woke up one morning uh, to find, or, yeah, to woke up uh, to find a note pinned to his pillow with a dagger, which said, Dear Mr. Salah Hadin, please stop fighting us and Come allies with us and be nice to us. Otherwise, next time this letter will go through your head instead of through a letter. Kind of regards to the assassins. And he appears to have actually also done that. 
and so and then ended up in an alliance with the assassins i think at this point in the game or at least in the story they've made in the game uh, we are indeed friends of Saladin. but if that kind of uh, subtle intimidation didn't work uh, then they had actual assassinations uh, which they did in public to really you know, force on the point that look we might not have a large army but we can make life we can still get to you if you're a leader Okay, please, thank you. Oh, I mean, I actually killed the person that I did that too, but okay. Now, I'm still trying to use space to dodge roll. And dodge rolling is not actually a thing in this game, but I have way too much Mad Max. Thank you. Incredibly fast you move if you just struck me because I was way open then. Of course, that's a problem with any kind of cool looking video game or movie combat sequence. But in real life, these kinds of flash moves would get me killed, especially when fighting so many people at once. Okay, next few points is over there. So yeah, and how far the assassins would really wear conspicuous garb like this, especially if they were actually on an assassination mission, probably not. They would infiltrate and uh, gain positions of trust near to their targets, and emphasize learning foreign languages, etc., so they were able to blend in. Um, but yeah, if they actually decided to assassinate someone, uh, they would be quite public about it. Because that was the whole point, you know, not just killing the person, but making it very known to anyone who might be the enemy that they were capable of doing so. And in that way, you know, using the fear to achieve their political ends rather than just having a big army. And in that light, the second rule of the creed we've learned so far, you know, be discreet. It's a bit of a strange one, especially if you're presenting it as a creed. Now something to, well, look at that view. Especially if presenting it as a creed, now something to uh, base your world view around. That's a bit strange. This is a very big cathedral, uh, almost gothic style, which I think is probably a bit anachronistic, but I'm not sure. So I'll defer to the uh, makers of the game, maybe research properly. And over there is the Citadel of Akro, which is quite famous. Also when the Crusaders first took the city, and do go check out the extra history uh, stream on that uh, or video. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, the citadel held out longer than the rest of the city, so last the fall. I think actually, if I remember right, the Crusaders end up being besieged uh, after they take over Acre, with some of the defenders still holed up in the citadel, and then a relieving force uh, coming up behind them. Okay, that is not supposed to go yet. So we went, we are still stuck over here among the poor people. Okay, so again, we're going to help this person uh, for unclear reasons because, uh, you know, um, chopping off people's hands was an acceptable punishment for thievery in the, at the time. I mean, maybe not so summarily as this. Can we drop? Thank you. La -di -da -di -da. 
Hello? Okay, fine. All of you like this then. <laughs> I'll never get away here. Yeah. So this is the notorious AC1 com counter attack being super overpowered. Show they wanted from you, and they said they wanted your hands because you were a thief. Okay, there's another flag there, so um, I'm of course going to go and get it. But we do need to talk about them because they're a bit weird at this point. Uh, I haven't been told why I should be getting these flags. Uh, now, obviously, there's this counter, and so 533 collected. It's a video game and there's something I can collect, so obviously I want to go and collect it. Uh, but I'm not quite sure what's supposed to be the advantage of collecting all of them. Are we going to get something at some point in return or not? Uh, I guess we will see. Of course I have a reason to be here. I want to see what the city looks like. I just want to look at your pretty city. Can't a person come and look at your pretty city? He's an assassin. I'm wondering, are they shouting that because I killed someone? Do they mean he's a murderer or because they've really recognized me as a member of the Order of Assassins? Going inside, that's not where we want to go. Let's go around that side. Okay. There we go. Most clever, it can't be easier with a missing ring finger. Another floor in this uh, in the sessions. Device. Uh, if you don't understand the ring finger reference, uh, you have this hidden blade, and to use that, we need to uh, not have a ring finger anymore. So that is chopped off when you are not a hidden blade. Uh, which of course kind of test of loyalty thing, initiation rights. And uh, to have your finger chopped off. But 
and also Mm. It seems like a bit of a strange thing to do for a secret order to have something so clearly identifiable. You know, if you're recruiting servants. Drats. I'll see her, please. Thank you. So yeah, pro tip, if you're uh, recruiting servants and you're anywhere in the Holy Land, don't recruit anyone with a mission you can do. Hush. You stop. Look, guys, all I want to do is climb your tower. Why are you going to be like this? a lot of blood, sweat and tears, mainly other people's, uh, to get up here, but it was nice. Floop. Do feel ever so slightly guilty for killing all these innocent guards, but they just gonna make trouble for me. So. Hello, flag. No, go follow someone else. Look, I know I fancy clothes, but it doesn't mean I want to give you money. Now go away. Another hit point block. That's nice. Yeah, no, 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 Them from the 
So, yeah, oh, she's not open world in this game. She ain't no viewers staying in the border street. This is the name, right? Port District, yes. Uh, 45,000 people. Pretty decent size. Means now at home, but uh, pretty decent size. Looks like there's a citizen you can save just on the other side of the wall. And extra DNA. Synchronization always good. Let me go, please. You dare steal Move. my present. That will cost you your life. Why are you so cruel? What have I done wrong? Is that man's thing? Da da da, never mind me. I'm just a scholar interested in what's going on here. Oh, your life would be nice. So if I spend less time, laying him down nicely and more time. Who's next? Oops. Why can the enemies kind of flinch and they decide to attack you anyway and not do the smart thing and run away? See anything. I'm just a simple monk. The former archer stealth assassination challenge. How many adjectives or nouns can we? What? Just because I'm climbing onto your roof. Ow. Yeah, the Crusaders were not all that nice to the Muslims that lived in areas captured. Mm. Muslims were relatively decent to the Christians, especially the ones that had taken over the area. I mean, you were very much a second class citizen as a Jew or Muslim in. Sorry, as a Jew or a Christian in the, the Muslim controlled areas, but. You could, you know, go about your life. Do not give up. Um, I mean, not like you're going to get into high office usually, or you have to pay extra taxes. But there is no uh, Spanish Inquisition coming after you. number of lines to be spoken. Cut. Sorry for jumping on your head, officer. Yeah. 
Ups, au. Au. Crusaders were a multinational bunch. Come for adventure or chance to get loot because they were uh, second sons, third sons, therefore not much hope of getting an inheritance in Europe. are immediately proving their worth. So long, goodbye. Oh, I think he's in, that's worse. Suspects, I guess it's not the best time to do this. Again, she don't have the chance to be shot about it anyway. So, what is now? Knife in your face, that's what it is now. She shouldn't put streams that finishing moves here. Little less impact, but still look painful. How does she do that? Years and years of training, that's how he does that. I'm not quite sure what the point of throwing in like that is if you're not going to follow up. Safe now. I mean, where's the one responsible for this? Help! Assassin! Send help! But it comes already. Piling up. Yes, I'm not interested in you. There are you there. Where's the citizen? Oh. Oh, no. we're not here. I hope it reinitializes. Right. 
saving the conservancy, uh, the concerned citizen, the endangered citizen, take two. I'm done for, am I? You see this pile of bodies? Ah, oh, maybe I have to catch the guy that runs away. Makes sense. I also haven't quite figured out what the advantage of the short blade is compared to the long sword. But maybe we'll hear later. Yes, please do tell everybody in the city about my presence. That would really make my mission easier. Time now. No? Okay. Oi. That? That's quite rude of you. young man. Be assured I won't forget it. Glad to hear it. Oh, some more scholars to hide amongst. <coughs> Good. Who did this? I have no idea, officer. I have no idea. What? What makes you think that? But a simple monk. Tell you about my monkey ways. You were saying?
those men intended to commit. Good of you to arrive when you did, stranger. I've seen to it that my husband hears of your bravery. Is that... Oh, no. Better not cause any trouble. Never no, sure. No trouble for me. As long as you look the other way when I assassinate people. You know, I try to be discreet about it, so it won't cause you any trouble. As long as you don't end up in the wrong place at the wrong time. You dare steal in my presence. That will cost you something good. Friend of the local populace. Uh, let's start off eavesdropping to get some information. Uh, actually, let's start off with boxing between so players on the way. <coughs> so, let's recap what we know about our targets. Uh, in course, Damascus, we killed a black merchant merchant called Tamir, who was powerful enough to execute someone quite brutally in broad daylight in the middle of a crowded market just for failing to deliver on time. Ah, uh, we have to be inside. Okay. Um, so yeah, execute someone in broad daylight for failing to deliver on time. And he was delivering weapons to someone that was unknown a strange crest. Though I would be willing to guess that it was a temporary crest. And when we assassinated him, he said he was brother born in a large conspiracy and we knew nothing, etc. etc. Um, so, yeah. And there are total nine targets. Uh, that's Amwalim and Sintas. Where's going to send us to kill? Do we know the nine targets? I'm not sure if we do. Um, anyway, and we are here, apparently, although we didn't hear when this was said, Altair himself noticed that we. Okay, we're not allowed in here. Let's try the other side then. Okay, so target here is the Grand Master Hospitallers, apparently, and we don't really know why or what he's doing here. Hopefully, matters will become clear during this information gathering. Also, not going to do zoom. That's okay, because on this side we can. What the hell do you go away, peasant? Oh, wait. Sure, goodbye. Not sure if someone who close like this could ever be accused of being a peasant, but okay. Uh, in fact, it probably would be against the law for peasants to wear clothes like this. I don't know if it was like that around about here, but there were certainly places where it was illegal for peasants to wear fancy clothing. Which makes sense if you consider that you know the only way of identifying someone as a noble certain places would have been by the clothing, you know, unless she was already known to other people locally. So what you got there? Rubbish. And that had no coin to speak of. Just some damn tube. All I found was a bit of paper with these nonsense scratchings. Them's not nonsense, but words and letters. Why's a man putting words and letters in a tube? A waste of tube, if you ask me. 
must be important. Give it here, and I'll have a look. Like you held last time. I ain't letting you steal this. Well, ain't you clever. Have fun with it, then. Yeah, I find it slightly hard to believe that to be so unaware of the value of writing. No, oh, just a monk. Wow, okay then. Jeez, can a fellow walk around in peace? Connection shows. Connector shows connection to Garnier and two other men. Hmm, okay. Not entirely seeing how that helps us, but uh, hopefully things will become clearer. Uh, at least Shaw is connected to the conspirators. Um, we can't get that this way. Oh, we might be able to get us this way. They are smart enough to realize I came from somewhere I shouldn't be. Okay. Nope. Nope. Reef garden. Nope. Alright, we're here. Ah, if you open that. And hopefully that will give us some information on why we want to kill this person. Strike. That's quite a nice church. I'm wishing in Assassin's Creed 2, and I think later they give you information on the historical buildings you see. Kind of missing that here. Would have been nice to learn more. Just go away. Thank you. Bench, where is your bench? There is a bench, I can see. And there are an awful lot of guards here. Alright, interesting city. Also, dead people. Guessing there was. Looking at the damage was in the walls and guessing there was recently a siege. I'm not informed enough of my third crusade history to kind of place that. You've dropped the line. Who guards the eastern wing? Poor bastard's brother caught an arrow in the throat. Now he'll last the night. How can he continue to work knowing what's to come? He visits his brother often, so I cover for him when I can. You aren't there now? No. I have family business of my own to attend to. Then he'd best hope the doctor doesn't learn of his desertion. He won't. As long as you stay silent. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. That's good. Eastern wing. No trolls. No assassination challenge. That's interesting. Investigation is complete, so we could return, but you know, I want to know more. So we will complete all of these. Just keep running, just keep running. Ah, there you are. He is after me. He saw me. He will kill me and my wife and children. Oh, what a mess. Have you come to end my misery? No. Al Mualim has more compassion than I thought. Could you help me then? A knight of the Hospitaller is after me. If you could eliminate him, you would do a fellow a real honor. I've been here in Akka since the Crusaders were laying siege. I can give you important information in return.
So, Fischerschnitt, Urteilt. Okay, you want chicken? Right. So, Fischerschnitt, him, then return. Okay, we can do that. So, I think we can do that. So that is not a stealth assassination. Good to know. Let's go away. Extremely grateful. So, here is what I know about Garni de Naplus, Grand Master of the Hospitalia. Garni lets his patients roam the halls of his fortress. No one, save scholars, may enter his personal workspace, and the rooftops are guarded by archers. I'm sure this information will help deliver Garni to the gates of hell. Scholars or guards? Well, what do you know? Why does he let his patients roam always? What kind of patience does he have in any case? I mean, sick people probably don't do much roaming because they're uh, lying in bed sick. Unless he has uh, mentally ill people, which I think is kind of indication they're going for. People want to walk around, my top will get better. the speech not be immediately suspicious that he was hired to say that. Um, also, the Knights Hospitalier, though they probably did run hospitals and that's where the name comes from, uh, they are knightly order. And their grandmaster uh, would not be a doctor certainly in this kind of modern sense of the word. I mean, monks often did take care of the sick, but... Well, 
wonder if Dr. Inish word even existed at the time. Might have. Come on, finish cleavage boss. Confused. I'm not following you. Look, I'm going this way. You're going in a different way. You know, I we came from out, we didn't kind of fit. Ali was where we supposed to have jumped in. Was was not that great. Oh, try again. What do you mean? <sighs> Ready, Alta here. So, Garnier is some kind of stereotypical mad doctor. She is disappointing. Though maybe they've done something more interesting with it. I think we haven't heard yet. Vision to not feel guilty about killing our next target. So far, they've been setting up, right? We saw that murder, we couldn't stop. So, if we had any misgivings before, we obviously thought then, ah, uh, there's still here's a horrible evil person, and it's perfectly okay to kill them. 
And now we have a temple. Oh, sorry, hospitalier. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, my doctor torturing people, so that they perfectly okay to kill him. Which is perfectly fine for you and entertainment video game, but could have more interesting moral choices, not that this game is about choices. Uh, you know, if I was a good person, but killing them might still help Lord more. They use that blade of yours. Too many archers about. This makes it difficult for me to work. Kill them. All of them. <coughs> I might be able to assist you in your campaign against the mad doctor. Keep in mind, however, that you must do this without being seen. Should you be discovered, they'll sound the alarm and you'll be forced to try again. You'll be forced to try again, really? I think it's really interesting in video game logic. But okay. Uh, and notice that he used the literal phrase, the mad doctor. Well, that is correct. At least the fear part. Just keep looking that way, please. Archers on all these rooftops, but killing two of them is not bad. Then. Those archers dead, I can be about my business. Take this. It's some sort of work order for repairs to Garnier's hospital. Perhaps it'll be of use to you. Labors and patients in the fortress. Okay. Before my flag challenge. You don't understand, lady. I don't want to give you money. Lots of people are poor and need the money. See where running the course universe. If it isn't Altair, remember me? No. I learned my craft at the same time as you. Still, no memories of me. Doesn't matter. Well, you got the thing from me first. With a mission that I am honored to perform. I must test you. What a pleasure. I have hidden flags in this area. Find them and return to me. Be quick. It is such a shame that the old man insisted that I must help you if you succeed. Okay, now we are firmly in the realm on video game logic rather than narrative logic. Not the mind necessarily, but up to now these informer challenges have also made some kind of in-game sense, right? To watch rid of the archers is logical. But that he is quote unquote hidden in these flags. Lots of rooftop course that I have to complete within the fixed time. Which you can apparently measure. Yeah, it's a little bit very much overtly a gameplay challenge. That makes very little sense. In the context of the story, there's the uh, Crat, I'm just the last flag, really. Okay, well, hopefully we'll have time to go around a second time. Just take a short cut on the way home. Hmm. 
You sneaky watch it. my mind about you uh. but since al muelim commands here is what i know about your next target garnier hides in the hospitalier fortress getting into the fortress will require cunning that's all i have for you <coughs> wow so useful so two memories mission Oh, I can just go back to the rear. Okay. Huh, I wonder. So, Laboratoire Garnier is a cosmetics brand. Did they really choose Garnier as someone with a laboratory? For that reason, or is it just a coincidence? Hospitalers and who they were and what they did and why. So, for next time, onto the wiki. Altair, <coughs> how fair is your search for Garnier? I know when and how to strike. Share your knowledge with me then. He lives and works within the Order's hospital, northwest of here. Rumors speak of atrocities committed within its walls. It seems the good doctor enjoys experimenting on innocent citizens. Most of them kidnapped and brought here from Jerusalem. Clever. By stealing his subjects from another city, he avoids arousing too much suspicion here. Why not get some in? But okay. At hand. What is your plan? Ganya keeps mainly to his quarters inside the hospital, though he leaves occasionally to inspect his patients. It's when he makes his rounds that I will strike. It's clear you've given this some thought. I give you leave to go. Thank you very much. Remove this stain from Akka, Altair. Perhaps it will help cleanse your realm. Rest here until you're ready to begin your mission. Fast forward in so previous cover was a pottery shells person and children. Discover is a boxer. Uh, in the Christian world, would have been a somewhat of a rare profession, but in the Islamic world, there were lots of booksellers. Uh, it's a legend that Baghdad was the city of a thousand bookstores. And you know, this was before the printing press was invented, at least in. Uh, mm. parts of the world that were not China. So, you can imagine yeah, what an effort it was to have enough handwritten books that you could run a thousand bookshops. And there was a lot of respect for the written word. Which just makes it earlier conversation of the pickpocket a bit strange. I mean, that he was not able to read himself, sure, possible, maybe quite likely. But that you would not know what writing was at all, or that it had value, that seems rather unlikely. Why would anyone want to do that? Why would anyone do this? Because it's a faster way of getting around, of course. Watch on the wall. Oh, no, No, I don't. Go away. Really? You're gonna throw rocks at me because I didn't give you money? 
How long do you think you're gonna last as a bear like that? Hush now. Flag. Who wants the flag? Ah, you're not gonna complain about this forgetting for me to be here? Good. I'm not a heathen, I'm a Muslim. There's a difference. Heathens are pagans. I am not. Thank you very much. No, I don't actually. I think I can kill you. There's a difference. So yeah, um, Altier's religious beliefs are not really elaborated on. I mean, considering he's an assassin, you would guess then that he's a uh, Shiite Muslim. But, you know, strictly speaking, oh, okay. I don't mind. Help me! Please! You must help me! So again, the clock or evil expression is don't feel bad about killing him. Story. Enough, my child. I asked you to retrieve the patient, not to kill him. There. A German mad doctor? Really good. Really? Not again. Cast out this fear, else I cannot help you. Help me? Like you helped the others? You took their souls. I saw. I saw. But not mine. No. You'll not have mine. Take hold of yourself. Word matched by the back of his hand. All lies and deception. He won't be content until all bow before him. You should not have done that. Return him to his quarters. I'll be along once I've tended to the You other. can't keep me here. I'll escape again. No, <laughs> you won't. Break his legs, both of them. So, just in case you worried about how evil he was, and apparently these people brainwashed well enough to really work for someone so over to you. So let's get back in there. Only scholars and patients, I think. Interesting male and female patients mixed. Possibly you think back then. Ah, he's awake. It's you! And how does he feel to be whole again? I don't know how you did it. <laughs> it wasn't easy, I assure you. You fought hard at first. Most do. But now it's not the hard parts. I owe you my name. Uh -huh. I'm your sick man. Thank you. Thank you for being me. Thank you for letting me. Oh, there you are. So we're gonna get out again, and uh, we just run for more jet like this.
It's almost looked at the way I ended in this. No, 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 no. Oh. This part is supposed to work. Ah, I'll rest now, yes. The endless dream calls to me. But before I close my eyes, I must know what will become of my children. You mean the people made to suffer your cruel experiments? They'll be free now to return to their homes. Homes? What homes? The sewers? The portals? The prisons that we dragged them from? You took these people against their will. Yes. What little will there was for them to have. Are you really so naive? Do you appease a fine child simply because he wins? But I want to play with fire, father. What would you say? As you wish. Ah. Then you'd answer for his birth. These are not children, but men and women full grown. In body, perhaps, but not in mind, which is the very damage I sought to repair. I admit, without the peace of Eden, which you stole from us, my progress was slow. But there are herbs, mixtures, and extracts. My guards are proof of this. They were madmen before I found and freed them from the prisons of their own minds. <sighs> and with my death, madmen they will be again. You truly believe you were helping them? It's not what I believe. It's what I know. Excuse me, excuse me, coming through, coming through. Coming through, coming through. Make way, make way, make way. Coming through. before they are hatched. I'm playing it for the story actually and just to uh, reload it a bit and I like the setting. So let's think a bit uh, about the story and uh, so what we know apparently we stole a piece of Eden, we presumably being assassins and somehow that was helping the doctor cure people and he obviously thought he was curing them and he always thought he knew better than they did themselves which i think the central philosophical theme that they 
We're going for an Assassin's Creed. with news of your victory. There is something else. Speak it then, or would you have me read your mind? What do you think he wanted from these people? That he would keep them an experiment on them as he did? Yours is not to ask, but act, Altair. It doesn't matter what he did or why. Only that he's dead. But Gagne seemed to believe he was helping these people. Ours not to make reply. what you saw? No. Ours not to I saw reason or wonder people. why. Why are we having this conversation? Our response right? to do and die. I don't know. Forget I spoke of it. I already have. Fast forward in memory to a more recent one. Fast forward memory to myself. Um, yes, please. Well, I'd love to animus computer if I had some. Have you news for me, Altair? Gagne then approves his death. Excellent. We could not have hoped for a more agreeable outcome. And yet, what is it? The doctor insisted his work was noble, and looking back, those who were supposedly his captives seemed grateful to the man. Not all of them, but enough to make me wonder. How did he manage to turn enemy into friend? Leaders will always find ways to make others obey them. And that is what makes them leaders. When words fail, they turn to coin. When that won't do, they resort to baser means. Bribes, threats, and other types of trickery. What's the difference between coin and bribes? Herbs from distant lands that can cause a man to take leave of his senses. So great are the pleasures it brings. Men may even become enslaved by it. You think these men were drugged then? Poisoned? Yes, if it truly was as you describe it. Herbs. This seems a strange method of control. Our enemies have accused me of the same. The promise of paradise. They think it is a garden, overflowing with women and pleasure. But I drug you as Garnier did his men, and tempt you with his rewards. They do not know the truth of it. Which is how it must be. But if they knew the truth of it, that all we seek is peace, then they would not fear us, and we would have no hold over them. Go. It is time you continued with your work. Another rank is restored to you, as is a piece of your equipment. We'll speak again when the next has fallen. So, uh, three knives. I think, yes, three knives. And I can tackle. Cool. To the courtyard, we go. Hey, what's beyond here? Can we go in here? We can. How nice. Oh, actual ladies. So, the famous Assassin's Pleasure Garden. I'm thinking this architecture is definitely some fantasy in my place in real life. Show them what you know. Try 
knives. Advantage of the short blade. You can also throw knives. Check. You must be busy. Um, yes, I think this is a good place to end the stream. So, thanks for watching, and see you next time.